Some UNC students are crunching numbers for people feeling the crunch of tax time. Volunteers are manning free tax clinics between now and April 14th. Using software from the IRS, the students process simple tax returns for members of the community. The clinics are on Tuesdays and Saturdays at the Hargrave Center off West Rosemary Street. All you need to do is bring your W-2 forms, which you should have already gotten from your employer. UNC junior Francis Ellington says the program doesn't just benefit the people getting help, the students get a lot out of it too. It's such a learning experience for everyone involved, and we've even had a few clients from last year come in to recognize us. In between working with clients, st students use the downtime to catch up on homework. You know that old rhyme that says little girls are made of sugar and spice? Well, it turns out that might not be true. A new study shows women are germier than men because of makeup. Lip gloss spreads bacteria from the fingers to the mouth, trapping bacteria on the lips. Hand lotion is another culprit, transferring and trapping those nasty germs. As a result, women are up to four times more likely to have dirty cell phones and computer keyboards than men. Student Alexis Travars says she thinks the study, which was conducted by a man, is inaccurate, and she knows firsthand that men are not cleaner than women. I have five older brothers, and they're all much dirtier than I am. And I don't really wear makeup, which seems to be the biggest contributing factor. So I'm sorry, I just can't give him any credit for this. To find out more about the study, you can go to our website, carolinaweek.org. If you've had major stomach problems in the past two weeks, you're not alone. The state epidemiologist says a virus has triggered outbreaks in a number of counties across North Carolina. Health reporter Sarah Whitmarsh has more. That's why. Just 10 days ago, Dr. John Nichols and his family were fighting a bad bug, what's commonly known as stomach flu. Absolutely horrible. It was no fun. I was completely nauseated to the point where I... I really couldn't even function. Nichols says the symptoms were consistent with norovirus, the same bug that has caused sickness on cruise ships and college campuses, including UNC, two years ago. Infectious disease specialist Dr. David Weber says he suspects there are local cases now, even though the Orange County Health Department hasn't confirmed an official outbreak in Chapel Hill. We've had a number of patients admitted with diseases that almost certainly are norovirus, so I'm sure we saw uh, cases here. Weber says the virus can spread easily, especially in places where people come in close contact. It can contaminate food, water, or direct person-to-person -person, uh, transmission. And it's quite hardy in the environment, so it survives for very long periods of time on countertops or in food. Illness with norovirus usually lasts only one or two days. The symptoms can be severe and include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and abdominal cramps. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says the best way to prevent infection is to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers won't protect you. Norovirus researcher Lisa Lindy Smith says hand washing is important for everyone, not just those who are sick. About 60% of the people who have the virus and are infected do not have symptoms. Thus, they're out, they go to work, they go to school, and they are shedding virus. Doctors say people who experience symptoms should stay at home to prevent spread of the virus. Now the Nichols family is back to enjoying one another, rather than sharing a virus. In Chapel Hill, I'm Sarah Whitmarsh, Carolina Week. Doctors say the norovirus often causes dehydration in children and the elderly. But regardless of age, anyone experiencing symptoms should drink plenty of fluids. A North Carolina man has helped open doors of opportunity for others throughout his career. In 1959, Henry Fry was the first black student to receive a degree from UNC's law school. Fry went on to become the first black to serve on the North Carolina Supreme Court and later became the first black Chief Justice. His granddaughter, UNC senior Whitney Fry, finds her grandfather's accomplishments a bit overwhelming but lives by his motto that you should follow your dreams. Fry was inspired to become a lawyer after he was denied the right to vote. To wrap up Black History Month, we're taking a look at someone who's had a big impact on Chapel Hill and our state. 
Former Chapel Hill Mayor Howard Nathaniel Lee was born in 1934. He came to Chapel Hill in 1964 when he enrolled to earn his master's in UNC School of Social Work. He was elected president of the Student Association of so Social Work twice. In 1969, he made history, becoming Chapel Hill's first black mayor. In 1990, he was elected to the North Carolina State Senate, where he served for 13 years, making major changes in education legislation. Lee still lives in Chapel Hill and serves as the chairman of the State Board, Board of Education. And we're joined now by weathercaster Jonathan O. Hi, Johnny O. Hi. So is spring uh, teasing us, or is this warmer weather actually here to stick around for a while? Well, we might actually be seeing some up and down temperatures coming up this week, and I know that people have been getting used to this warmer weather and are having plenty of fun in the sun, but do other students have the right idea by keeping on their jackets? I'll let you know when we come back. 